So today I want to talk to you guys about the Naked 3. So the real one versus the fake one. I purchased, well Rudy purchased the real one at Sephora and I purchased the fake one. Um, the, what's it called? The Ruplica? The fake one? I don't know. The fake one on eBay. So, um, this is how you know you have the real um, Naked Decay 3. The fake one looks like this. You see? So right away you can tell the Naked 3 is a lot bigger and the naked, the fake naked 3 is like this. If you guys can even tell. So this is one of the naked 3's. And this is the other one. They look the same. The packaging looks the same. Like the case it comes in, the same. So this is the real one. How the real one looks. Fake one. The colors are so off, it's ridiculous. But this is how the fake one looks. And let me show you the brush. The brush I do like though. This is the real Urban Decay brush. This is how it looks. Comes with a flat, um, flat eyeshadow brush, and it's kind of fluffy to blend it out, sort of. Um, so I guess this would be like a fluffy one, and this would just be the one so you could pack the eyeshadow on. And this one, the, from the fake one. I like the, the brush it comes with. It's really fluffy. You see? Really fluffy so you can blend very good. And then it has like the flat eyeshadow side. Very pretty. See, I like that. So I really have no complaints on that. The eyeshadows is what I have to complain about. Let's see. Because they look nothing. This is a fake one, real one. It looks not, nothing like them. So this is how they're supposed to um, line up. So this one is supposed to match this one. And then so forth. Like pink and this white one? No. Compared to... I don't think I can even fold it like that. Like this one I can fold. See? Like it's cheap. And the real naked three can't really you gotta be really careful so these are like very beautiful colors this one's like 60 bucks and this one is 15 now as you can see the fake one is like way off it's too pink the next one is a dust um dust on the real na um, naked three has a lot of fallout this one was just really um just really i don't know like it didn't have a lot of pigmentation. The next one is Burnout. Burnout, you can um, see it. It's a very, very pretty um, pinky, peachy color. And this is not the color that I would say that, yeah, that would match. It looks nothing like it. Um, okay, the next one is Limit. I love this color Limit on Naked 3. This one, not a match for it at all. So, nope. This one is Buzz. Buzz is my second favorite. This color I think is doable. It's really pigmented. You see I just barely touched it and got my finger. Um, very pretty. Very pigmented even on the fake Naked 3. Next color is Trick. Another beautiful color on the Naked 3. This color does not look like it at all. It kind of reminds me of Nooner. Like it could kind of look like Nooner. Okay. I mean like less. Like Limit fake naked three but this color is very pretty okay and the next one is liar liar is a very beautiful metallic color um but for the fake naked um palette it gives me like a metallic gunmetal color very pretty next one is factory factory is very pretty like a very bronze color um the color for the Naked 3, I would describe it as a um, plum metallic color. Very pretty and it's very, pigment very pigmented. Okay, and then Black Heart. This Black Heart has specks of like pink in it. This one's just a complete dark, basic black color. So yeah, these are them. 
the real, the real ones are on the bottom, fake ones are on the top. Glad I did purchase this one, the fake one, because it has lots of beautiful colors, um, and the pigmentation on these are still good. Like that's just look at that crazy. Um, let me see. I like mugshot on this one, very pretty. Factory is pretty, and Nuna is pretty. Like they, I don't know. And Trick would be a really good color to, um, it's like a light brown. So those are the colors that I think are very gorgeous. Um, yeah, for 15 bucks, it's not bad at all. It has like really pretty colors. Um, especially once you start getting over here close to like the dark side, it's very pretty. Um, the colors are really pigmented, very gorgeous. Once you get to the lighter side, it's more for like a neutral day type of look but I like to use this color as a transition color and this as a highlight and this I would put like in my um, inner eye to make things pop um, this one like I said it has like um, like I don't know I don't know how to describe that color very pretty colors though I really like the palette um, I wouldn't say it's anything but so much more um, so much more pigmentation and the colors pop more and the colors just look more pretty. This is like a palette um, that has like all the colors that you know you would use on a daily basis. The audio cut off. So this palette I would say has really good neutral colors. Just a really good palette. Palette, 15 bucks. So I just wanted to show you guys the real one versus the fake one. So yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think and uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. And yeah, thanks for watching. So thanks for watching ladies. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section. I always reply. If you guys like this video, please thumbs it up. And yeah, I love you guys. Until next time.